hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video i'm going to show you how to install and use this llm studio tool from h2o if you're looking to fine tune large language models on your own custom data sets in a gui without dealing with any sort of code then this might be a good option so in this video we are going to install it locally and then we will see how it works before I show you the installation and tell you more about this LLM Studio, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs so do check them out. Coming back to this LLM Studio, this tool not only lets you do fine tuning of LLMs but also you get a GUI spe spe uh, specially designed for large language models plus you can fine tune any LLM using a large variety of hyperparameters plus you can use recent fine tuning techniques such as low rack adaptation where we freeze actual weights of the model and just add adapters on in the layers where you just fine tune or train the adapters you can even go with 8-bit model training with a low memory footprint you can use reinforcement learning or rl to fine-tune your model and you can even use advanced evaluation matrices to judge generated answers by the model you can even track and compare your model performance visually you can also integrate it with uh, wnb or vandp for observability and then you can even chat with your model and get instant feedback on your model's performance and then you can easily export your model to the hugging face hub and share it with the community so let's get started with our installation let me take you to my terminal this is where i'm running ubuntu 22.04 and i am using one gpu card of 48 gb vram nvidia rtx say a6000 let me clear the screen now for the prerequisites it only is supported on ubuntu at the moment recommended but you can try it out on windows too i haven't but the recommended is to go with ubuntu any version 16 uh, plus with at least one recent nvidia gpu if you are using any other gpu it won't work also you should have uh, quite a good ram and they uh, recommend around 128 gpu of system ram even i don't have that much in on this system but at least i can show you how to get it installed of course if you're running uh, a huge model where you are trying to fine tune it from end to end you would need more than 256 gb of a ram okay so that said and done now let's get it installed first up let me install a conda environment another thing is that recommended python version is 3.10 so you see i am creating my conda environment with python 3.10 um, even 3.11 3.12 12 has issues so make sure that you are using python 3.10 let's wait for it to get installed and activated and that is done let me install some of the prerequisites which are torch and transformers let's wait for them to get installed okay all the prerequisites are done uh, you can ignore these warnings for now these are from my older uh, packages next up let git clone the rep of h2 llm studio and then cd into it i already have um, almost done it but i will drop the link to this repo in video description that is done and now let me clear the screen next up we need to make the setup file so it's simply run make setup and it should build your environment and you can see that it is installing all the prerequisites with virtual environment let's wait for it it is going to take a bit of a time and it took around four to five minutes but it has installed a lot of things including flash attention everything is done let me clear the screen and now in order to run this LLM studio all you need to do is to run this command make LLM studio 
and you can see that now it is running on my local host at this port 10 10101 and then we can uh, access that on this 10101 here and recommended they say that run it in chrome so let me fire up my chrome browser here let me cancel this let's wait for chrome to come up and this is my chrome browser as you can see where i'm running this h2 llm studio and then it is just creating a default data set at the very start so let's wait for it to get finished and it is completely initialized now and look at the front interface looks really catchy really good so at the top we have this uh, pane where we you can see that your gpu statistics like what is the load and then um, what is the cpu load and then how much vram you are using so as i mentioned earlier this nvidia rtx a6000 has around 48 gpu of vram and currently it is only using this 3.1 and then on, on the right hand side that is my disk statistics below i have the data sets you can import your own and on the right hand side these are the experiments which i'll come to shortly now on the left hand side these are the settings that you can set here a lot of stuff like what sort of uh, bucket if you're using aws um, s3 or any azure or kaggle or wherever you can set that one on but i'm not using that now these are the data set and these are the experiments if you click on view data sets on the left these are the data sets you already have or you can simply click on import data set to just get your own data set you can download it from hugging face you might have your own data set which you can import and drag and drop or select it from your system but we already have this data set which you can check and then this is the data set and if you click on it this is uh, telling you what sort of data set is set so for example in this data set we have this instruction output and parent id let's click back on this then this is a dpu one where you have uh, it, this is a direct preference optimization this is for preference alignment where you give it a question and then there is a chosen answer and rejected answer and then when you train a model on it model always is grounded on your chosen answer so this is your own preference alignment of the model okay now so this is what data sets are and then in order to actually run it you can create an experiment now before i show you the experiment one more thing is that if you want to have uh, get more information about data set you can simply click on this summary and that tells you what sort of data set is that how many rows are there and few other tidbits you can also check out statistics in this very nicely presented graph around distribution and all that stuff and then you can even visualize the sample training data okay now on the left hand side let's click on experiment now this is just a general setting you can select your data set maybe i'll just go with dpu this is uh, dpu problem type is dpu modeling or you could go with casual language modeling here and then you can even get your own yaml file which contains all your uh, hyper parameters and training stuff you can give it your own name it has just populated with a random name like refined termite and then you can select your own base model here like you see on the left hand side there are a lot of model you can just give your own hugging face model so then your model is from h2oai i already have covered it on my channel so let me make it a bit bigger so that you would be able to see it okay much better now <clears throat> Danube model is there the very small model 500 million one you can even personalize it so you can just uh, for example replace to replace a certain words but let's keep it at that way there's a data frame in the parquet format let's keep everything as is and then there is some um, start prompt and then all the delimiters are there let's keep uh, end of sentence here and then of course you can set all of these as per your requirement just go with these optimized atom w always good choice and then there are a lot of other parameters and i already have covered all of these parameters and stuff what they mean in my other videos in detail so i'm just keeping everything as is and from there you can then simply click on run experiments 
it has been queued and then it is going to take a bit of a time to run and of course it depends upon your data set your gpu as how long does it take it could take hours and hours or it could take uh, even days depends so but you can see that you don't need to know any coding everything was done in gui and the good thing is that it doesn't do much so it's not cluttered all it has is data set experiment that's it so you just select your data set you start an experiment with the model and that's pretty much it and if you go to the home page you see all the statistics in real time what is happening now you see that we have cpu load we have gpu load so it, you can also tell from here that gpu is being used and then if i scroll down you'll see that when it's the experiment starts it will populate here so it is it, it has been currently queued so if you just scroll down and click on this uh, flame icon with list of experiments it is going to take you to your experiments and you see it is running at the moment and ETA is around 30 minutes so it's a small small uh, model with not that big of a data set and then you can even stop it you can delete the experiment and you can fine tune different ones and then you can compare them if I go to home page you can keep an eye in real time on your GPU load CPU load to see how it works and on the left hand side you can even click on view experiments here and then it is just going to tell you in real time how much progress has been made here and then you can just simply uh, keep it as is if you click on this kebab uh, menu on the right hand side you can just uh, rename it or just start a new experiment if your machine allows you fine tuning is around 60 percent done let's refresh it and it is now 89 percent done and the eta is around three minutes and you can see that it is almost done now at 99 percent eta is just few seconds let me refresh it to see where it is at almost there and the fine tuning has finished successfully and took around 42 43 minutes almost and now if you want to push it to hugging face so that you share with community all you need to do is to just click on this name of this fine tune model and you see that this is a whole learning rate where the loss has come down as the training progress this is again another train batch loss here you can see it um, on your time and from here at the bottom you can see that this is a metric which we have um, validated this model on you can download the logs config you can all the predictions you can even download the model from here on your local system and you can just push it to hugging face you can just get the LoRa adapter instead of model uh, if you want and then from here just simply click on push checkpoint to hugging face and just give it your account name on hugging face whatever you want the model name to be you can even change it here and then this is for gpu and here you would need to provide a write key from huggingface.co which is a free key which you can obtain from hugging face and then simply just click on export to be exported to hugging face so that's it I hope that you found it valuable and interesting. I think one of the best tools out there uh, to find your LLMs very easily, graphically. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.